Hey guys, welcome to this week's Steam Culture. It's loud out here, a lot of trucks, so I'm gonna yell at you. So I was thinking of this week's episode, I thought we'd talk about the power of steam and everything, and we know you gotta boil water to make steam. You gotta boil it so you need heat and fire, and the fireside keeps getting hosed. So I wanna talk about it this week. We're gonna be at our new Boiler U facility. Come on inside, we're gonna talk about the hot side of making steam. Let's go. So let's go inside and look at our awesome new training facility. I'm going to take you room by room through it. So this is our entryway. This is our front training room. Question? All right, and this is our general purpose lounge slash lunch area. Bathroom. Okay, and into our large 60 seat training auditorium. Is it true that the term for perfect combustion is stoichiometric? All right, so in order to make steam, you've got to raise the temperature. In fact, at atmospheric conditions, you need to raise it to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So the way you do that is with a heat source. There's several different heat sources as we've talked about on steam culture, but today we're gonna to talk about my favorite, which is fire. Now. Here's an important thing to remember. There is something called a combustion triangle because you need three elements to make fire. You need air or oxygen, you need a heat source, and then you need a fuel source. So we are, are gonna accomplish that in this fire tube boiler. Now, here's how a fire tube boiler works. We're gonna make fire through this burner and we're gonna have a fuel source and we're gonna have air and we're gonna have fuel, which is in this case, natural gas. And the interesting thing about this boiler is there's a large tube in the middle the fire goes down, bounces around, comes back this way, bounces around and goes out the stack in the back. But what you need to know about this boiler is while these, the fire is bouncing around in these tubes, there's actually water all the way around it. Now, let's go up front because I have a cutout and we're gonna show you how that works. All right, so we're saying we need fuel, we need air, and then we need a source of heat or something to ignite the fuel in the air. So this right here is called a gas train. This is gonna bring the natural gas to the burner, which is over here. There's also a fan to bring in enough air to make fire. And down in here is an ignition rod or igniter. And it's gonna spark and it's gonna boom, make fire. So let me tell you how this works. This is where the steam gets made. So that fire is gonna come down this tube, which is signified by the red. It's gonna fly all the way down here, turn around in this back wall. need you to know is if you see the blue, imagine this whole area being covered in water. All these tubes all the way up to here probably are covered in water. The steam is up here being formed and that's where it heads out the steam header and goes to different parts of the plant. So when we've talked about uh, making resin or even the food production we've talked about, it's made in a, a boiler like this. So I thought it was important that you know that steam's got to be made somewhere and it's made with heating up water, and this is how you do it in a boiler like this. So I feel like we've done it justice this week. I hope you enjoyed our episode this week. Maybe you knew that already, but if you didn't, you do now because you watch Steam Culture, so thanks for watching. Speaking of watching, go watch yourself Google all the great content that we have. See it in your mind. Go find where content each and every week. I'll go find something for you that has to do with Steam next week.